Miss Kitty Live. Connect and rip the knob off. Let the activation begin. Miss Kitty, Kitty, Kitty. Nation one night here, you know what I mean? We're going to have some steam around here. Because <laughs> Riley started me up with the music that got me gyrating. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just feel nice and clean up in here on a Tuesday afternoon. You're listening to Miss Kitty Live on Nationwide Night FM. And of course, you know we do radio different. We do TV different. We do everything different because we are true to what we do. And of course, it's all about passion. It's about dignity and integrity. And it's about loyalty and longevity. Anything that's worth gaining takes a time to do so because so it rise fast as so it drop fast but i gotta tell you this gentleman has been in the music industry for over a decade and i gotta tell you he has definitely already left an indelible mark with all that he has contributed and i'm so happy that he is here this afternoon to share with us i know for example especially during the soca season the soca lovers look forward to his way of playing music and i have to say that he has revolutionized how we have come to know, love, and enjoy soca because he has managed to bridge the gap and find that nexus between dance hall and soca music and drop them like they're in like interchangeable. Like yeah, went to a cartel no, and then next thing we know, Marshall, me said when that chip in, me never know. I went to reach, but me know said reach. DJ Kurt Riley is my very special guest right here on Miss Kitty Live. Hi Kurt, how you doing? Hi Kitty, how you doing? I'm very well, thank you. How are you doing? I'm fine and I'm great. You're looking fine, actually. Yeah. Well, I try to. Yeah, you try. try No, well, let me just say, by the way, guys, that Kurt Riley is one of the most humble, uh, most decent men uh, that you'll ever meet. Uh, I remember the other day we went by Alison Hines. We were having a show in New Kingston and I twisted my ankle, okay? And Kurt helped me to my vehicle. He helped me change my heels, put on my shoes. And I mean, I could not do it for myself. And I I came to my show and I talked about it. But now that you're here, I just want to publicly thank you, Kurt, for your help. And no... It, because my, I was really in pain, and you were really helpful. Him going on my van, take out the arm um, shoes for me, put them on, tie the lace, and he was the consummate gentleman. And for that, I am forever grateful. And but I just love him overall. Came out clean on him. Somebody, he was a nice, clean, hardworking youth. And so we gotta big them up. You know what I'm saying? Normally, sometimes we cost man, so they're not the right thing. But when they are doing the right thing and going above and beyond, we also have to salute them. Now, talk to me a little bit, Kurt, about, you know, uh, your, you no, know, Kurt always a blush. You're a good thing, teeth them white. So we like him for that somebody there. No rotten teeth are around here. So, <laughs> no, you've been, the, some may argue, Kurt, that music is in your vein and blood follow vein. And like your father, Winston Riley, who came before you, uh, you know, set up the techniques, uh, worked with people like Sister Nancy, Alton Ellis, Johnny Osborne. And of course, uh, you know, the Stagalag rhythm, uh, that is one of the most uh, groundbreaking rhythms of all time. Uh, how did you, was music just a natural fit for you? And did you just gravitate toward it naturally? Um, to be honest, I don't know what happened. I just, I just know that ever since I started going to school, yes, for some strange reason, um, holding certain information was not the easiest thing for me. Yes, but remembering notes and frequency was. Mm-hmm. So I didn't really pay it any mind still. So you know, um, did the whole term through Woolmans Prep. Yes, um, and uh, when I left, I was speaking Spanish fluently. Mm-hmm. And um, literature, because I like to, I like to listen and write. Nice. So, um, I can put nice stories together, love stuff, and all of these things together. Mm-hmm. But somewhere, somewhere in my brain, was this pretty thing that going over in my head. Yeah. And I don't know what it was. I don't say it sounded like music, but you know, I, really, I didn't really pay it any mind. Um, here comes high school, the Kingston College. Yes, forties, forties. Don't say nothing, Calico. You're on the wrong side of North Street. Don't say nothing. Yeah, <laughs> but tell him I already know a two great institution for not treat and then start with K, KPH and KC. Just breeze me, breeze me. <laughs> yeah, I don't money cup time. I don't money cup time. Calico, remember so we said we are support George. But Calico, we had an agreement I'll that we're, we're gonna we're gonna support ball George's with the money cup time. Yeah, man, so, and when you y'all we, play we cool. squash, we what, cool. And badminton, we're, cool. we're gonna yeah, we're cool. We're you cool. know, we're cool. yeah. <laughs> Everything is alright. Yeah. 
Yeah, so... So, Kingston College, yes. Yeah, so, um, at the time I was following, you know, Daddy to studio. Yeah. So, what happened was I really and truly was supposed to be concentrating on schoolwork. Mm -hmm. But like I said, it wasn't the easiest thing. It was very difficult because even when the... Even when the teacher is talking and I'm and I'm there and I'm there writing, yes, the very sound that the pen is making, it sounds like music to me. Wow! The very sound that the pen is making when it hits the paper, mm -hmm. I could hear it. Mm -hmm. um, still, never really know what was going on. Right. But Dad, no traveling all over the world, was was bringing music from everywhere. Yeah. Every continent, every country, mm -hmm. every island. I mean, Daddy revoked like fifteen passport. Mm -hmm. Like. No space. Yes. But every time when he leaves and he comes home, he would bring um, some music. It sounds kind of, some of them sound weird mm -hmm. at the time. Yes. But no one understand them. Right. But I was always listening to them. So you were exposed to a wide variety of music yeah. from yeah, a very man. young age. Yeah. yeah. Um, from, from, from a very, 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 very um, young age. Um, so here comes more studio, following that into studio. Then I find myself, I go dance yes. on my own. And where was your father's studio located? Um, he did not own a studio per se, but he would he, he would um, rent other studios. Okay. He did not have the sound that he wants. Yes. So in the meantime, now we done the record store, then I start finding myself in the road, in the dance hall, mm -hmm. in the grime. Yes. And that's sweet. It's sweet. Sweet, too. Yeah. yeah man. So you just decided to, when did you make that conscious decision or that decision uh, that you were going to delve into music full time and make this, you know, your career?